Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time, okay? To those who are keen on becoming members of my Patreon, well, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as the spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed down in my description box below if you're keen to tap in and become a Patreon member. Or you can tap in and become a Patreon member by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website where you can sign up. Thank you to those who have already. I really appreciate you. Let us tap in and find out why we spiritually live here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? We have the three of pentacles here, all right? We have Capricorn energy with this three of pentacles energy. Go ahead and clarify the three of pentacles, please. I see people discussing you here. I see your name being discussed here, all right? You are being spoken of, you're being spoken about at this time really heavily, all right? I see multiple people at a time having their name in your mouth passing around opinions and you know exchanging words that have to do with you your energy all right at this time clarify the three of pentacles please we have the two of swords however these are people that don't have access to you with the two of swords energy they they're literally not in your life they blocked out of your life they they can't be in your life all right these could also be strangers all right, colleagues, family, friends, ex-lovers, take it how it resonates. So these people here that are discussing you, I feel like they're talking in, in, in secret though. Like it's like conversations that are being had, um, like in hiding, like it's not like they want you to know that they're talking about you, they're doing it in secret, in discretion. We have the Queen of Wands, yeah, your energy is being spoken about here. We have Libra energy, we have Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy, we have Capricorn once more with this devil energy. We have Virgo energy with the Hermit. And then, yeah, more Sagittarius energy with this Ten of Wands. So basically, I feel like secretly these people are also hiding the fact that they would love to experience you. They would love to experience your energy. All right. But because of their toxicity or their low vibration or because they're a comic, they're not good people. They don't mean you well with regards to their intentions. They know that you will easily pick up on that energy and you will not allow them in your life. They will never have that access to you, all right? These people will genuinely feel like you have your guards up. You are somebody that 
has strong boundaries and very low tolerance for low vibrational energies and comic energies. People that don't mean you well, you easily can pick up on them. As you are being spoken about here, I feel like everybody is exchanging their own opinion of how they feel towards you. And as much as their opinion doesn't matter to you, these people feel like if you knew what they were saying about you, it would make you feel a type of way about yourself. And the only reason they feel that way is because what they're saying is negative. So it's like, you know when someone says something towards you that is not nice or something towards you that is really, really low vibrational, they expect you to feel a type of way about it or about yourself or about what is being said in specific. So it's like when you don't feel a type of way, it sort of defeats the purpose of what is being spoken. And I feel like that's what's happening here. These people are just trying to convince themselves that if you were to hear these conversations, it would make you feel a type of way. And the reason they try to convince themselves of this is because they want to make themselves feel better about doing this, being on this. It's like community gossip or people communicating about one person and then they want to make themselves feel better about it by saying, damn, I know they'll feel a type of way about this because they know this is real, this is facts, this is this, this is that. But the whole time, it, it doesn't really matter what they say or think. But they don't want to look at it like that because they, they would have to acknowledge that you are right for not even wanting to be in their life or not even resonating with them. Because what same-minded person will want another person to feel negative about themselves? That's just a projection at the end of the day. So I feel like you are remaining unbothered here, which is making it hard for these people to really be in this energy much longer. All right, we have the Five of Swords to the Page of Cups. I'm channeling the energy of like, if these people, one of these people were to even be in your life, they will want to influence you to make the wrong choices and decisions, right? They will make you, um, they would want to make you go against your own energy, your own word. They would want to break your character down and they would want to manipulate you into thinking things about yourself that aren't true. So you are dead right for not even resonating with people like this or wanting to be in their energy because people like this are the type of people that look for the wrong in other people and then they want those people to feel some type of way about themselves because of what wrong they're seeing in them. It's like, oh, you see her hair ain't right. Her clothes ain't right. I don't like her voice. And then they're gonna put that on you, wanting you to also feel a type of way about yourself within that regard. But who's the problem here? It's not my problem that you feel a type of way about this and that in the dirt. It's on you at the end of the day because you have the time of day to even pinpoint those things about another person. We have Pisces energy as well as Aquarius. We have the Nine of Swords reversed. We have the Eight of Swords. I mean, quote to take it reversed. We have the Six of Wands reversed. We have Gemini energy here. And then we have the Justice upright. The crazy thing is like, these people are all up in your world though. Like in terms of wanting to know more about you and wanting to know about your life and your reality. Like they all up in that, in that sort of energy where just in another person's business with it, you know what I'm saying? And as much as they feel as though if you would know what is being spoken, it would trigger you some form of way, I feel like they would, they, these people would have another thing coming if they would actually say these things to you in person. Because there's a reason that they're in hiding when they're speaking like this and secrecy and discretion, not trying to be looked at in a certain type of way and not trying to have you 
see them like that or find out that that's what they are. Because secretly these people, they only do this when they with one another here, when they're exchanging these words together and all these sort of things. But if they were to have a one-on-one -on -one with you, all of them individually, they would portray themselves in a different manner to you. Because secretly they would all love to be in your energy and experience you in your life. Because I feel like at the end of the day, you embody light and love, which is what these people lack within themselves. All right. They spend so much of their time and energy putting other people down that when they see somebody that is of light and love, that's all they know how to do still. You know, put them down, you know, find something about them that is to be looked at as a flaw or something that is wrong about them or something that is to be laughed at or spoken about or pinpointed and broken down about them. They can't just acknowledge somebody to be who they are and move on with their life. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like the more you stand in your energy of love and light, the more these people will look foolish trying to approach you with this energy, the more they will feel foolish as they stay in this energy, all right? It has nothing to do with you at the end of the day, beloved. People got to take accountability of themselves and move on with life. You don't owe anyone anything. We have the High Priestess. in though that I feel like you are hardly bothered by things like this all right people like this it's like situations like this and people like this don't bother you when somebody has something negative to say to you it kind of like you just shake it off or you let it just roll off your shoulders it doesn't make break or shape you all right which is a quality that you have based on your own character development as a person. Okay, you are very detached and cold towards energies that stand in low vibration or karmic um, energy. You don't take people that can't show love and light genuinely. You don't take them with ease or with grace. So you don't have any sort of tolerance for those sort of people. It would be hard for you to even pretend to care and, and have um, genuine sort of connections with people like that. So God is like, like by putting you in, in this situation to see the energy people have towards you by you just being yourself, like people feel like this with you just being yourself. God is showing you that there will always be somebody with something to say. There will always be somebody that tries to throw negativity unto you. In life, it's not about what people do. It's about what you choose to handle when you are dealing with lies. It's like, so you choosing to handle this negativity, this karmic situation, it would be you deciding that you resonate with this. Like, just because somebody, somebody is saying something or assuming something about you, doesn't mean you need to take it to heart. As if that person knows you. They don't know you. Because at the end of the day, there has to be something significant about you if all of these people are paying attention to you within this way. What is it about you that they're so intrigued by, that they feel like they can't even stand it, that they're grouping up and they they sending each other all these messages and meeting up for conversations and throwing around opinions and feeling like they were should matter in your life you know what i'm saying who are you then to these people for them to even feel like you are worthy to be spoken about all this time and look at it and dissect it and look at that you see that ha ha da, da, da. you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day man time is money like if you spend so much of your time or even a little bit of your time discussing another person's life that means there is something about that person's life that is very significant that's very intriguing you know what I'm saying? Something that is beautiful about it or something that is really, really um, pinpointing the favor of that person and the fact that they're so blessed in life. And 
If you're a high vibrational person, you will acknowledge it and feel inspired or even just, you know what I'm saying, compliment that person. You won't feel any sort of way. It won't take away from you. But if you're a low vibrational person, you will feel small. You will feel like that person thinks they better. Like you will go all up in that low vibrational mess. And it will just what take away from you even more. Just by somebody living their actual life and being who they actually are. It will take away from you if you choose to be low vibrational with it. And I feel like you've used your free will to show love and light. Like, no matter who does what to you or who says what about you, you will always be of love and light. And if they choose to take the high road and be this and do this, like an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example would be like, take for instance, somebody that meets somebody on the internet, right? And obviously because they haven't met that person face to face or in reality, in real life, they don't really have much to go on based on that person, except pictures and a few conversations or, you know, even FaceTime calls or all those things. But the one-on-one -on -one interaction, the reality is the, is the one that will sort of solidify everything that has to do with that relationship dynamic. Friend, lover, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a connection, um, you know, something that has to do with any relationship dynamic. But these two people are meeting on the internet, right? And let's take, for instance, the, there's one good person in that situation and one bad person. And to be a bad person is to always choose low vibrational energies, to be comic, choosing to be um, the type of person that puts other people down, choosing to be the type of person that refuses to choose good and be of light because you're embracing the darkness of life and you want others to go on that with you as well and when they don't you have a problem with those people and you want to put those people that's like that's a lot man right and to be a good person is to always just move with love and show and show love even if you are not receiving it or it's not um on the same level even you know what i'm saying but being of light is is the ultimate answer for a good person and those two people in that situation, they don't know that about one another as yet. Let's say they haven't discovered that, okay, this is a truly genuine person, this is a truly dark-spirited person or somebody that isn't right. You know what I'm saying? And let's take, for instance, as they're in this era of their relationship dynamic, whether it's a connection based on work-related issues or work-related things, stuff, or it's lovers that want to build a relationship, or it's friends, all right, two friends that want to build a bond, have shared history with one another, right? They want to develop memories and all of those things. And let's say, for instance, now those two people, they're in two different energies with it. The other one is of good and light, and they, they just want to see and experience this person and really genuinely see where this could go and whatnot. And let's take the other person that is in a low vibrational state of being and they're a bad person with it. They are anticipating to cause this person pain and you know to make them feel a the type of way and planning all these things. And it's like, duh. and it's like they, those two people are in different vibrations and also they are different people with it. You know what I'm saying? So coming back to the generalization of this message, it's like, Everybody makes a choice. Everyone is presented with certain situations of life, experiences of life, people in life, and you make the choice of how you're going to receive that person. You can choose to be good to them or you can choose to be bad. You can choose to be a good person in a certain situation or circumstance or you can choose to be a bad person in that same situation or circumstance. But we all take upon the choice and decision at the end of the day. And these people, they ain't been making the wrong decision and choices you know what I'm saying, decisions and choices by staying in this energy and wanting you to be in the in the same energy, like, oh, I also feel the type of way, or oh, you say this about me, I'm also say this about you, don't come for me like that, you don't know me that, like, yo, nobody got time for that, you know what I'm saying, some people like to drink their tea and watch their favorite soapy or show, some people really don't care, man, and it's not ego, it's just like that, they just don't care, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like these are people here that want you to care. They want you to be bothered. Like, they want you to be phased. Like, they say something, and, yeah, like, if I say it like this, like, 
Yo, like that's that's training, you know what I'm saying? To engage in that would mean that you resonate with that kind of energy. Like it shouldn't take much for you to disregard it because you know it, it, it ain't nothing to you, you know what I'm saying? From this point forward, anything negative that is being thrown at you or said about you, it shouldn't take much for you to look the other way or dodge the bullet because you know yourself enough, and you stand in your power enough to know that you are not on that same vibration. So why should it mean anything to you when someone chooses to be on that vibration? Let them make their choice alone and not drag you down with them. You know what I'm saying? Because this is real life at the end of the day. I'm equal to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming Patreon members, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month, all right? For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed down in my description box below if you are keen to tap in and become a Patreon member, or you can tap in and become a Patreon member by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, it'll also lead you to my Patreon website where you can sign up, right? Thank you so much to you all that have done that already. I appreciate you. I will see you all soon again. Goodbye.